Okay, hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, you want to find the integral of this function 1 over x to the power 61 plus x. Alright? Okay, great. Hmm. The idea I'm going to use here is to actually factorize this other term, okay, and not this one. So, put that down the integral of 1 over. So, I now factorize x to the power 61. And we are now left with 1 over here, plus here we are having x to the power negative 60, right? And then we put down the dx like that. Okay, great. You know that this thing, this is in the denominator, we can actually take it up by putting it here as x raised to the power of negative 61, alright? Sorry, this is negative 61. So, since it is there, we can put it there at the top like that. And you observe that if you differentiate x to the power negative 60, you're going to have x to the power negative 61, all right? But though we will have some constant together with it. So, that is where we would have to make a change of variable. Okay, I'm going to use u as a variable. That is a u sub. So, I would say let u take the denominator 1 plus x to the power negative 60, this means that the u will become, we differentiate 1, in fact, you just have 0, this is negative 60, x raised to the power of negative 61, like that. Great. So, let me put it down for you guys, well, oh. the u is negative 60 of x raised to the power of negative 61, like that. So, we substitute everything back into the integral sign. We're going to have x to the power negative 61. Let that one be there. Now, the denominator, 1 plus x to the power negative 60, this is the same thing as u. So, we put down u in the denominator. Now, sorry, this is dx, all right? You know, when you differentiate u respect to x, you're going to have this. So, you multiply both sides by dx, and that is it. Okay, so in place of dx, we're going to put down du over negative 60 x raised to the power of negative 61. How is that? So in place of dx, we need to make dx subject of formula here. That will be divided by size by this stuff. Okay, so you have du over the whole of that. So that is for dx. So let's simplify things from this integral sign and see what we have. So here we have the integral of well, you see that this negative 60 is in the denominator, so we can put it outside. That will be negative 1 over 60. And again, we see that x to the power negative 61, x to the power negative 61, in fact, they are the same. We cancel them out, and we are going to have 1 over u, du at the end. That is to say, this you cancel out with this one, all right? And then negative 60, negative 60 at the bottom is out of the integral sign, and we have integral of 1 over u, du. So by integrating 1 over u, we just have the natural logarithm of u, all right? Put down, this is negative 1 over 60, natural logarithm of u. But u is the same thing as, um, what did we get for u? 1 plus x to the power negative 60. So you just put this down as 1 plus x to the power negative 60. And you know what? Since this power here, though it's negative, but since it's an even um, exponent, all right? The x here does not have to be positive. It has to be either positive or negative. It does not matter, okay? Even if it is zero, it does not still matter here because natural logarithm of one plus zero will be at least one. Okay, so this is going to give us negative one over 60, then the natural logarithm of one plus one over x raised to the power of 60, and we can add an arbitrary constant to that. So that is a nice place to end. So that is the antiderivative of that given function. Okay, thanks for watching. 